Therefore, non-payment of council tax. I just want to thank everyone who came along and gave me support on the day. There were about sort of 30 people that turned up. Um, I went into the courtroom as a free man on the land. Can you be quiet, please? Uh, refused to Dave. give jurisdiction to the court. We all went and sat down at the back of the court and all refused to stand. Um, it was quite clear that the court case was corrupt. Um, I asked to see the judge's oath, which they refused to give. They just completely ignored the, the subject altogether. Um, and I've today received a liability order in the post with no date on it, um, even though they had no jurisdiction in the court to make a judgment. So it's uh, <laughs> completely, co completely cover up, you know, completely cover up. Has it been signed? No, no signature. There was no illegal. signature on the summons it's either. Illegal. It's illegal then. That's yeah. right, absolutely. Yeah. But they've issued, they've, they're threatening now, obviously, with warrants. Um, but obviously, I'm not going to pay. That there's no contract, and uh, you know they're not they're not accountable at all for any of their actions. I've you know I said I said to them in the courtroom. I said, sir, have you got a civil claim against me, or have you got a criminal claim against me? Of course, if it's a criminal claim, then there needs to be an injured party. If it's a civil claim, there needs to be a contract that I've breached, which of course there isn't. Um, so is Roger Hayes giving you help? No, I mean I've not had any communications at all with Roger Hayes. Um, unfortunately, um, but I, I'm, I believe I've done quite well. Um, it's my first bash at it, and uh, I'm improving my confidence and everything. Well done. Well done. Well done. I shall well continue well done. with it. Well well you should tell people that you know you're getting some advice somewhere else, and I'm giving you advice because I'm staying outside of it. Sure. It's, it's a very dangerous. I've said it's a very dangerous yeah. thing. Yeah. And I'll tell you this: those three magistrates were all solicitors. That's right. They now, that's right. A lot of people missed just you know, little things, but when the uh, Mr. Evans for the council stood up, uh -huh. okay, now he did not swear on an oath, and the impression was that he was swearing giving an oath to the court. All he actually did was he said, "I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth." The other key thing was that not one of those magistrates or the monkey in, well, behind those three wise monkeys, the monkey in front of them, the court clerk, who is a qualified barrister. Therefore, he's of higher authority than those three magistrates wow. and solicitors. Not one of them swore on their oath. That's right. So you've got, you've got it's the little things that people are missing. That's, that's, that's them thing. dishonouring the Queen yeah. and her oath to uphold the law of the land. The queen. Mm -hmm. There's a whole thing about people, and even Ashley mentioned people swearing oaths. I, I, I'll refer, a lot of people say to me, well, I'm not a religious. I, I was brought up in a religious sort of background, but I'll tell you, I'll sit on the side. When you go into a court of law, any court of law, yeah? Leave your religion outside. Because these evil councils, they are shrouded with religion and they're using religion. And the crown is using that in God we trust. That is an abuse of God or, or anyone's belief in you, you, if you want to believe in any God, go to and believe it. Once you go into those, those courts, forget it. Because they are using God against you. Mm -hmm. Now, even I, and I'm not a, I haven't had some dancing conversion, but even I have read. Matthew 5, 33. You mm. should read it. It's about swear no oath. Mm. If you want to swear an oath, swear an oath between you and your God, not in a court of law, mm. because you're in dishonor straight away. Mm. It's Matthew right. 5, 33. I'm not a Bible basher, because I, I personally believe that uh, the Bibles are all myth mythologized, mm. and they're just used every 600, every 100 or so years. It's all twisted to suit the generation of the time. Be careful. Yeah. You'll get that. If they'd asked me to, to swear the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, I would have said, if only I know the whole truth, I don't know anyone that does, and if I did, we'd be here all day. I'll tell you something else as well. If they had the Ten Commandments, it would help. Yeah. In the court. There's no such thing as the Ten Commandments in the court. <coughs> Never seen it. Do you make that point about the magistrate being a claimant as well? Yes, um, it's, it was, uh, it's important to note that uh, what the, uh, the council do is they hire out, out, hire out a room at the law courts and they actually fill it with their own staff. They fill it with the council staff and they literally are acting. Um, but obviously, under the Misrepresentation Act of 1967, they cannot act as a magistrate and claimant at the same time. Obviously, there's a conflict of interest. 
So it's illegal. That's right. It's, yeah, it's rather it's quite illegal in a number of levels. Yeah. Yeah, they do.